Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. You look like you tangled with the wrong guy. <laughs> this is nothing. You should have seen me before I became boss. I'd show up all beat to hell. Your father had sewn me back together. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Did you have something to do with his death? Ah. So that's what this is really about, eh? The pup digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you a dense party. But you, you showed me the door. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. Watch it, Falcone. I still see some unbroken bones. <laughs> Tough guy, eh? I bet you came to kick some answers out of me, huh? Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? You ain't my uncle. I cannot here to take care of you. You deserve to suffer for what you've done. Of course, you'd never know the truth. How much of your old man is in you? What kind of son did he make? I am no murderer, Falcone. Unlike you. <sighs> yeah. That's why you were kept in the dark. He loved you, you know. He did it all for you. He protected his own. But if you got on his bad side, your father was more ruthless than any of us. He had a switch, you know. Still. Made us all rich, including you. Some people just have the mind for it. He was one of the most brilliant men I ever knew. Until you hired an assassin to take him out. What, you really think I ordered the hit? Sure, I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents look that Oh my god! They're waiting for you in hell! What the f Oh The bastard had to die. Dude. Come on, man. Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! You crazy bitch! What? some time but not much or it's gonna get out sooner or later why would she do something like this we had gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp this close we were this close you both heard her she had no love for falcone she's supposed to do her duty not act on impulses 
It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. That details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. The simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. <sighs> Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Ah. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. veins, still visible beneath her skin. Fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Wait, y'all see how this doesn't look spilled? <laughs> but I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Uh, Let's break it down easy. Everything is such a blur. It's not good, Sergeant. You shot Falcone. I did what? No. God, it's true. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light like i could do whatever i wanted no guilt no consequence there was a voice in my ear insisting falcone was gonna get off and all i need was that i had to stop that i had to no matter what the reasons why i shouldn't they were a million miles away D did you see a face could you id a suspect i i don't think so you must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. <laughs> 